Why well, hello everyone, you can call me Sim and welcome around here. So I made this round house a while ago and I finally decided to make a quick tutorial on how to make round walls. I mean I hope it's quick because I have the extraordinary capacity to stretch something that could last 30 seconds to 30 minutes. Anyway, so basically the only way right now to have something rounded in The Sims 4 is by using foundations or platforms. So I thought let me just try experimenting with that. So the first thing you want to do is to go into the uh, wall and empty room section, uh, select a rounded platform or deck of your choice and just place it. And you want it to be flat to the ground. Next, you want to take the wall tool and just place a wall next to it, not right next to it, but one tile over, uh, just to have a reference of the wall height. And you can choose whatever wall height. I mean, I'm gonna go for short for this one, but you can choose whatever. At this point, uh, all you have to do is to take the, the deck and just raise it until it matches the height of your wall. Probably one more. Nope, too high. There you go. Now that's the trick. You need to open the cheat console and enter the cheat bb.showhiddenobjects and that will unlock the secret uh, invisible foundation, I guess, which we will need for this to work. So you just select this and apply it to the foundation and don't worry... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't worry if it looks weird right now with the weird uh, <laughs> cut out in the ground. We'll fix that. Now, there's two ways to go about this. The first one is the one that I actually used in my roundhouse, and it is by using platforms. So, what you want to do is to select the floor and just start lowering the platform until it touches the ground. As you can see, it's creating walls, and when it touches the ground, it doesn't have the weird cutout anymore. And at this point, you can just apply any any floor you want and going into the foundation uh, not the foundation the uh, platform uh, wall thing <laughs> um, select just anything you want and just apply it and as you can see perfectly rounded walls now it has this uh, weird stretched like you can see the difference between the inside and the outside it has this weird white trim and the the whole um texture pattern is like stretched but i don't know what to do about that now here's the catch you cannot apply windows in this because i mean it just doesn't place it but if you enter bb move objects on you can actually place it but it goes like even if, if even if it goes on the wall first of all it doesn't even snap on it <laughs> correctly uh, but even if you are able to place it it's not gonna create an opening in the wall itself so unfortunately you will not be able to have an actual window in it, um, but you can place a door. No, not this. You can place a door. It doesn't place on all the walls. It's usually just one of the two. Like if you want it in one direction, it's not gonna place it there. Uh, but as you can see, uh, if you go here, it's gonna go down correctly. So you just need to reselect it in the right direction and just place it. Um, and yeah, I realized uh, I should have probably brought a sim in here to actually test anything, but you can enter. You can definitely enter the room if you place a door and you tell a sim to just walk in. Um, probably we'll make a demonstration at the end of this, I don't know. Obviously, if you place um, a glass door, again, it's going to have the problem of not having... That's not a glass door. Um, yeah, not having, like the glass part showing but 
you gotta make some compromises. Uh, and also the uh, the door animation doesn't actually have a cat out in the wall. It's just like when you like the door gets opened, but there's still like walls showing behind it. <laughs> But it works. It's, it's functional. I tried it. I tested it. it. It works. The second way you could do this is by completely removing the floor. So you select the room. Um, you go here and you go remove floor. Well, that didn't work. Forget it. <laughs> go back. <laughs> that happens. Uh, all right. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, before doing that, you need to select um, a fence and place it around it. Actually, you need to have the replace fence. And just holding shift, you just apply it to the whole uh, rounded foundation. Now you go here and you go remove floor. There we go. <laughs> so, what you have right now is the room exists. Uh, the walls don't. But you can go back in here to the foundation, select a wall and apply it. Now, you can choose to press uh, no, what is it? Shift. By pressing Shift, you can just apply it to one part of the foundation. So you can probably just, if you just want the round wall, you can go around here and just, well, just apply it to wall. Go back to <laughs> this tutorial is not going well. <laughs> uh, so apply it to all because the rounded part is quite tricky. Uh, go back to the invisible one, press shift and only apply it to a few of it. Yes, that's how you do it. Um, so you're gonna have unfortunately the, uh, the fence around it, but you can only, like you can have the, the rounded wall right here. And if the door is there, or you can just place an arch, same thing. If you place an arch, it still works. The sim can get in. Now, the problem with this is that uh, the game still like um, treats this as a room. So, if you want to use the part inside, you have to look at it from up top. Like, if you want to, if you place an object, I just place a bed over here. So if you place an object in there and you want to like do something with it, as you can see, it doesn't let me select it when it's through, like when technically you are facing the wall, even though it's invisible. Uh, so you want to go from the top and now you can do something inside of the room, but you can actually uh, use it if you place an arch or a door. I mean, you can leave, um, what is it? you can leave this over here if you want and just have this part open. It doesn't look good though, like like the door doesn't have the same um, feeling as it does with the platform, like you can only see the, the, you can only see the frame of it. So that's the reason why I chose to use the platform method for the other one, because at least like the door looks normal when it's closed, it's just when it opens you can see the wall, but otherwise. Now you can connect an actual like room in here if you actually uh, draw it not like that uh, leaving the one tile gap over here you just draw the rest of the room or the house leave a one tile gap then you take you, you make a wall somewhere else and you move it and you can place it over here and it connects even if it's uh, if it has like different uh, height, which technically would be impossible to do. But with this trick, you can actually fake a connection between the two things. So at this point, you can have like the arch over here and like make it normal, but you still need to have something to access this room. Like you cannot just leave it open like that. If you just um, leave it like that, it, it counts as a wall. So you have to find a way to just have something to enter the room to begin with. One solution might be to use maybe full height windows. Yeah, that's the problem though. You can only do it on one side again. <laughs> that's the problem. So, <laughs> um, I don't know why it does that. Anyway, 
So maybe you want to use this wall as the invisible one. And then use like full height windows to fake like a thing in there. And maybe if you have a full wall glass door. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. Oops. The other door. There we go. So I, I guess you can like fake it by using glass doors and, and windows full height. It's still gonna have a little bit of gap, but I mean it's the best you can do I guess. Uh, and so you can still have a door so a way to enter it and not look at completely weird by having just a door in the middle of nowhere or an arch in the middle of nowhere. Now another thing that I didn't quite fully understand how it works but that just happened while I was working on the roundhouse and I think it only works with the platform solution, the uh, lowered platform solution because I just tried it right now with the foundation and it didn't look good. Um, so you have to use the platform but basically if you want to have another rounded wall inside facing the same direction or any other direction, all you have to do is go back to the uh, room tool, select another rounded room, and I think it works best with a smaller curve compared to this. I don't, I haven't tried, but I mean, I guess um, you can experiment with that. Uh, but you select another rounded room, and all, like what you want to do, I think, is to make it as small as possible, like only leave the round part and then I think, hopefully, you can, yeah you can place it around the room again and it's gonna look weird right now but if you start lower in the platform as you can see, it's only leaving the rounded walls and not the other one. Now the problem with this is as as soon as you like deselect it, it's gonna say invalid rounded piece and I believe you cannot like it doesn't recognize it as possible even though you just made it. So I think you cannot move the room as a room again altogether. Like it just it's just invalid. See? Invalid rounded room. So if you want to just select this and move it. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not even letting me move anything. Like, it, it, it doesn't recognize it as a, like... Like, I, I'm pressing this, and it's not even moving it around, so it's quite, quite weird. Um, and another thing is, if you go in the back, this happens. So, basically, what you want to do is place the uh, floor tiles of your choice before then put the room on it, As, at least that's what I did, like you, you have to place some tiles in here. Now you select this, you make it one higher, because that recognizes the room as something, I guess. Um, you go over here, and now as you can see, it has the floor tiles. You, uh oh. Well, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, no, you have to raise it. <laughs> you have to raise it again. Uh, where's the wall height? It's not telling me. Eh, it's a bit... There, there we go. But yeah, see, now you have the tiles. You can lower the platform again. Valid rounded room. And then you just select the same tiles and apply it to the rest of it. And as you can see, it's seamless, except this one. But it's just... It's the only way I found, basically. But you can have a rounded wall. You can face it this way, you can face it the other way. As long as it's, like, allowing you to do it, and it doesn't go invalid, rounded piece, foundation, uh, you can use this method. Now, the only last problem that we have with this is that you cannot place clearly um, a roof on top like if you just I mean like being this a foundation when you go and place a ceiling 
like it's gonna be super high and if you just make a room and you place you place anything on top to make like a flat roof or something and then you extend it it's gonna tell you see that it's invalid because it recognizes it as conflicting height of the walls so here's the thing if you're only using um, either the foundation or the platform like have everything at one level you could technically build a room place a roof on top delete the room and you could extend the roof on top of it and it's gonna let you do it the problem is if you have this solution where you are attaching other norm normal walls to the foundation part the moment you try to go with the roof there it's gonna be like no roof must be on an even base so that's not possible right now yeah so the only solution is i guess to extend this part and pretend it's kind of like there but it's gonna be an opening here so it's i don't know like i still don't know what to do about it so but if you just use like the same height so the foundation or the platform method is gonna recognize it as an even base and let you place the roof on top but i mean i'll keep experimenting with this uh, so if i have any update i will post another video if i find a solution to this i guess but for now uh, that's all I have for you. I hope this wasn't too long. I don't even know. I hope it was helpful to you and uh, Sorry if I made a lot of mistakes. I'm really not used to making commentary at all Anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy my content I would appreciate it a lot. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve this, let me know in the comments Obviously, thank you so much for watching and hoping you have a fun time around here. I'll see you soon. Alright, so really quickly, I might have found the solution for the roof problem. So basically, what you want to do is build in the room as we were already, go one level up, build another room on top, place the roof on top of this other floor, delete the first one, lower the second floor until it matches the height of the first one then delete this floor as well now it's gonna let you extend the roof wherever you want so as you can see you can now have a roof on top of the whole thing Anyway, bye.